Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a pick a card. We've got four choices here. Uh, just feel intuitively guided to which one you would like. Monkey, rooster, rabbit, tiger. I'll give you a moment. We'll start at 30 seconds for the monkey. Okay, you chose the monkey. Your message for today is number six, gratitude. Second line. Second line parades are a staple of New Orleans culture. The uplifting music and dance signify prevailing circumstances through celebration. Whether in celebration of marriage, death, or just the good times in between, Second line parades always emphasize leaning on gratitude and appreciation because all is never lost. This card signifies that it's time for you to remember to celebrate. Sometimes looking at the big picture and all the steps in between, the beginning and the end can make it seem like you're in an overwhelming endless journey. Giving yourself moments to enjoy any accomplishment, even if it's just the fact that you're still trying, is reason enough to celebrate. The more that you tap into your gratitude and appreciation, the sooner you will see things moving more quickly in your desired direction. Feel the music of life and dance a little. You're on your way and you always have been. Okay, at 145, let me write that timestamp down for card number two, Rooster, you have focus. If it'll focus. <laughs> All right, let me write down the timestamp really quickly here. Okay, 20, focus. Everything is energy, including your thoughts. Think of your thoughts as different cars driving by. You have somewhere that you need to travel to, and you have the choice of any vehicle that passes. Would you want to get into every car, or would you select the one that seems the best equipped to get to your destination? Every thought can be a step either towards for forward movement or stagnation. If this card came up in your reading, it is because you must pay attention to where you allow your focus to lead your thoughts. Be aware of where you are putting your energy mentally and emotionally. Will enable you to create a more self-empowered journey. It is time to not only realize that you have a choice about where you focus your energy, but to also see how these thoughts are affecting your energy. Okay, and at three minutes, if you chose the rabbit cart, you have 25 nature. Okay, write that down, there we go. Spending time in natural spaces is one of the easiest ways for your body, mind, and spirit to regain balance and healing. If you've pulled this card, then you are in need of a date with nature. Whether it's a day at the beach, a quick walk in the park, or even just a few minutes to let your bare feet make contact with the grass, finding time to enjoy the outdoors will be helpful to you now. Take a moment to see how your energy flows with even the thought of incorporating a little more nature into your life. Once you allow yourself to connect in this way, you will feel a deeper connection, peace, and clarity within yourself. And if you've chosen the tiger, you have 28 flow. There we go. Let me write down the timestamp really quickly here. Flow is the natural balance of all beings and things. The movement of the ocean and the cycles of the moon are all perfect examples of flow. They are ever-changing, without judgment, and of fluid form. Much like the ocean, the human experience of flow can be rather unpredictable. However, it is always as it should be. It is time for you to be aware of what your flow is, without judgment. This can mean anything from a minor change in daily habits that will put you more at ease to a major decision concerning career that may lead to a huge positive shift in your life. 
Staying in your flow simply requires the awareness of how your energy is affected by your thoughts or experiences, and choosing the thoughts or experiences that feed into your flow instead of taking you out of it. There you go, guys. Have a great day.